In this video I wish to concentrate on what's at the heart of flame paint, uh, uh, which is the brushes. So up here we have, um, if I could just zoom in on this, it's something called the flame, the follow and the ribbon. And these are the types of brushes that you can use. So for example, this is the default which is flame. So we'll pick something from the, uh, the brushes um, panel and just go for this one it's just at random um, and we'll put something like this in so that's what you get when you um, with the flame one so what we'll do is we'll um, we'll just add a layer and we'll work on, a, on something else um, we'll work on the follow and this is the same brush which is called feather um, on the panel and we'll just do this just swirling it around same as we did on the first one there and it's a total different uh, a different brush strokes and we'll add another layer and we'll go to the ribbon and the ribbon again if we just knock that one down uh, is another brush stroke so we can go like this just swirling it around just experimenting and doing all these with some lovely graphics and there you have it so they're the, they're the brush strokes on flame painter so you have that one there which is the ribbon the follow which is this one here and also the flame which is this one here. So they're all different, these strokes, and um, they all have their benefits and uh, in, in different paintings, yeah, we can get different effects. Another thing that's uh, very interesting about Flame Painter and uh, what you can do with it is is by using the um, light, lighten, normal, and darken blending. And what this does is, like in normal um, <coughs> painting, if you have a dark background, it's probably best to lighten it. Um, so we just go down there and try this new layer. So again, we'll uh, we'll just keep with this this feather as uh, demonstration purposes. So if you have, say, if we had a normal, uh, which is a new thing that. Um, or relatively new that escape motions has been putting in into flame painter this is what you get so you do get an image and you can get a really nice image um, so if you knock that one down and you come to lighten so there again we get some really nice effects and we can do all sorts of things with this and again we're just using any brush any any one you could try you know, uh, to to get uh, these effects, we could we could even go to something called comb jelly, um, and we go on the flame one there, and this is the light one, so we should get something. We should get a, a really nice image with that, and we do, and that's a really pretty image. But if we went to darken again, if we see there, there's nothing. You know, there is something, but you can't see it because the because of the, the it's been so dark. Um, and so, if you look at it from a, another aspect, if we went and did, say, we went to new um, and tried the white, so we're trying it against the white canvas background. And here again, if you have white or light, it really probably wouldn't work. There, you do get a little image, yeah, that's 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 good really. Um but darkened is better. There you can see you can see much much clearer images and, and, and that type of thing. And so that's the that's the way to work. A bit a bit like um normal painting really, uh trying to build up your your canvas, trying to build up your artwork as you as you go along.